Hi folks, it's Arnold here. I hope and pray this finds you well. I have written this poem especially with the Saunders, Mullen, Hare, Cook and Carlyle families in mind. But I hope it will resonate with all David's friends who, like us, held him in high esteem. David was indeed a true gentleman and a faithful follower of the Lord Jesus. He will be sadly missed by us all. This is my tribute to my beloved brother-in-law on behalf of you all. A tribute to David Saunders. A much-loved husband, brother, uncle and friend. A faithful servant to his master and king. A disciple who stayed close to Jesus his Lord, always giving the best he could bring. World War II had just ended when David was born. His arrival warmed mum and dad's hearts. A brother for Hazel to love and protect and point to Jesus right from the start. His sister Hazel's prowess at hockey led him to become a good goalie himself. He loved sports and building Meccano, and he had lots of books on his shelf. His creative mind led him to tinker. With friend Jack they reached for the sky, but the firework they constructed together blew up, injuring poor David's thigh. Diagnosed with diabetes when only 14, meant injections for the rest of his life. But David faced up to this challenge, not wanting to cause anyone strife. When the rest of the family moved to Singapore, David stayed with Aunt Lily at home. Hazel, Philip and Pamela could hardly wait for summer holidays when David would come. The short time studying engineering at Queen's convinced David it would demand all his time. After much heart searching and praying it through, he decided he would not be confined. That decision was key to a major life change. From then on, David put his Lord first. God saw David's heart was after his own, and he rewarded his hunger and thirst. This young man of integrity, loyal and true, lived his life for his Lord every day, taking on almost any job he could find so that nothing could stand in God's way. When David met Ruth, he thought he hadn't a chance, that he'd be the last in a very long queue. But God honored both for their obedience to him, and today that stands out on review. This quiet young man, Adam Faith look-alike, never sought to be in the spotlight. But together with Ruth and the Holy Spirit, in God's hands, they were like dynamite. They blew holes in the kingdom of darkness by their hard work, commitment and prayer and their faithful service to the Lord Jesus has left much Danish fruit growing there. 27 years serving God in Denmark whilst working for Vest Frost during the day God used David and Ruth to touch many lives who will rise up to bless them one day. They returned to Carnlock to care for Ruth's mum and supported the assembly met there. Then on to Bethshean where, because of poor health, David increasingly needed Ruth's care. Now the David she loved has gone from her side, and the pain of his loss hard to bear. But God's grace is amazing, 
And in moments like these, Ruth's so thankful for the years they did share. David could not have had a more caring wife. Ruth was there for him in sickness and health. Her love and faithfulness shone like a star, much more precious than possessions or wealth. The staff and residents of Faith House agree that David always brought peace when he came. All there will miss his endearing smile and without him, things won't be the same. The Saunders, Mullins, Cooks and Hares thank God with you for a life lived so well. And for years to come, our David and Ruth will be the heroes of the stories we'll tell. <laughs>